Carlos Alcaraz versus Alexander Zverev. It's the first match in the group stage for both of these guys. And they're both coming in with a little bit of sketchy form. Alexander Zverev comes back into the ATP Finals this year as the number seven in the world. Of course, last year being injured around this time. So it's been a great rise up the ranks again for Zverev to qualify. His best results, winning this title back in 2018 and also in 2021. He'll be able to try and defend that title from two years ago after, of course, not playing last year. His record this year, 53 wins, 26 losses, winning two out of the four finals that he's played as well. His best win was against Daniel Medvedev in Cincinnati during that US Open swing. And his worst loss was actually at the start of the year against Mo at the Australian Open as he was starting to make his comeback. His form lately has been a bit sketchy with five losses in his last 10 matches. We do know that he plays really well at this event. And with this round robin format, anything could happen. Carlos Alcaraz comes into the ADB finals as the number two in the world and will actually make his debut at the finals. Even though last year he did qualify, of course, having to pull out though with injuries. So first time we'll see him here. His record this year, 63 wins, 10 losses. And his titles and finals, six titles from the eight finals. The only two losses he's had in finals was to Djokovic in Cincinnati and actually to Nori at the start of the year in Rio de Janeiro. His best win, Djokovic at Wimbledon, of course, one of the biggest achievements of his career. And his worst loss came in Rome against the qualifier from Hungary, Marijan. And it was just after Madrid where Alcaraz had actually won the title. So it was a big shock. His form, however, hasn't been good coming into this finals with a couple of losses after a long injury delay and not playing a lot of tournaments after the US Open. These guys have played six times before with the head-to-head -head split down the middle, 3-3. However, Alcaraz has won their last two matches in straight sets and Zverev hasn't won a match against Alcaraz in nearly 18 months. Of course, that famous French Open upset of 2022. If Zverev's going to win this one, he needs to use the conditions to his advantage. He's a great player indoors and especially at the ATP Finals, having won this event two times in the last five. So he's got to get off to a good start and really bully Alcaraz from the ground strokes. Be aggressive, not just stand back and expect Alcaraz to miss shots. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to bring the variety and also he needs to be healthy because we know that the last couple of weeks he has been struggling both physically and a little bit mentally as well. Hasn't won a title since Wimbledon, of course. The big famous stat there, but he's going to have to get off to a good start against someone who thrives on the indoor courts. What a great matchup, and a very interesting matchup as well. You know, you'd expect that Alcaraz most times would win this match based on their recent form, but Zverev could push him. But I do think Alcaraz will get the win in the end. I think Zverev might be a little bit too defensive in his return to the ATP Finals. I think Alcaraz might get him in the first match, but let me know in the comments below who's going to win this one.